So today we're going to build a trend reversal template that we can use in Atis for scalping. So what you can see here is I've got a, a dark template and all it's got on it is a fixed TPO on the left. We've got candles set up here and let's see what indicators we have. We have a current price bars which is this over here with the date and the and the price and we've got depth of market bars which are these red and green bars over here so the first thing i'm going to do is put in a few daily lines so um there we go as as per my other videos i don't like this red so i'm going to change these colors you can do whatever lines you like, but what I've done, I've made the open in a green dashed line, and you can see it here, it's under the blue line. I've made the close transparent so you won't see it, and I've um, got the previous day high over here in a dotted dash, and the low is a solid dash. And I've written all the names here, I don't want it to be a solid dash. So you can just change this to be dashed. Okay, so that's the first lot of lines that I've set up. Now we're going to go and put another group of daily lines in. So um, let's add that. Okay, and then, then again we get these big thick red lines which we're going to change. So in this one all I want to see is... I'm going to make this current week and all I want to see is the current week open and so I'm going to make that a yellow dashed line and I'm going to type week open there and all these other ones I'm going to make transparent and there you can see the current week open is a dashed yellow line Okay, I'm going to add one more line, so let's um, add it there, and this is going to be the last week, and I'm again going to change these colors over here. So you can see in this one that I'm showing the text, I'm showing the previous week um, open in a gold dash. The close I've, I've hidden by making that transparent and the high and the low also in the gold dash. You can see those three lines there. There, there and there. So those are the only daily lines I'm going to add but you can add whatever daily lines you use to trade. Now I'm going to add a daily and a weekly VWAP and um, I really wish they didn't default to all these fills and things so there's my daily um, daily and let's make this one a weekly okay what I'm going to do now um, off video is clean away all these standard deviations and these fills and then I'll get back to you so now I've cleared away all the extra things and all we have here is the daily VWAP in a dash dotted line and the weekly VWAP as a solid line and previous highs and lows in this sort of um, format. The next thing I'm going to add is an open interest panel and um, let's make that cumulative and here we see the open interest panel at the bottom the next thing i'm going to add is some delta bars so let's add that there and there you'll see the delta bars there i'm also going to add cumulative delta and uh, we're going to change this a little bit i like to have my line in a yellow and um, also show the description and there you can see my cumulative delta line over here 
the last thing I'm going to add is a cluster statistics bar so let's add that and then also we want that right at the bottom so we can move it down till it's at the bottom and then pretty much leave most of this as is I just want to see delta over volume as well so I want delta delta over volume um, session delta and volume that's what I'm going to put in there right so now we can see these bars at the bottom here with all those numbers in them the other thing I like to do is just to shorten these numbers at the bottom and in fact I'm going to have um, no decimal points and that's much easier to read than large numbers then the last thing I'm going to do is to set up the trend reversal candles these candles are time and on the on the five minute chart so every candle is printed after five minutes so what we're going to do is we're going to change that um, seven days of data for a five minute chart is fine but what I'm going to choose is this trend reversal candle over here and I'll explain what that is in a minute so there's the trend reversal candles so a trend candle is a candle that's either going up there's one there and there's one going down and a reversal candle is one where it's not going up or down it's going cross and it's about to reverse so we've got it set to 44 for trending which means 44 ticks each tick is 50 cents so that's 22 dollars so when there's a price move of 22 dollars while there is a trend up or down a candle will be printed the reversal candle is 26 ticks which is each tick is 50 cents so it's 13 dollars so each 13 dollar move in the reversal phase a candle will be printed because of the way these candles are printed you will see that the wicks on the green candles are only to the downside and that long wick indicates there's probably a reversal about to occur and you'll see that the red candles only have wicks on the upside so a reversal situation is when you get a green candle with no wick it won't have a wick at the top and then the red candle has a wick at the top and then you get the reversal the other template that I've built is very similar to this excepting that it's built over the TPO chart so if you have a look over here you'll see this is trend reversal it's got all the same things at the bottom but it also has the um, sessions template superimposed so we can see value areas and points of control and all that on the same um, chart you can of course have that open on a separate screen and um, you don't have to have these on the trend reversal chart so all that remains to be done now is that we're going to save this template so settings um, we're going to add and we're going to call this uh, we're going to call this trend reversal and then I'm just going to click OK and then we should have trend reversal there I'll favorite it so I can get to it easily and there we from scratch we have built a trend reversal scalping type chart that we can use to scalp over a few minutes and it's quite uh, you've got to be quite wide awake to do this and you've got to be able to look at a number of things at once okay well that's the end of that and uh, I hope you learned something and I'll see you in the next one